the Kremlin Wall is two kilometers, 200 meters long. It has 20 towers. They are all different. Three gate towers. Three gate towers are. बीस इसके जब इसकी चार दीवारी बनाई गई जैसे लाहौर का वो तेरह रोज़े बारहवीं ग्यारह रोज़े बारहवीं मोरी तो उसी हिसाब से इसको सारे वो बावर टावर बनाए गए इसको सेव किया गया वहाँ लिफ्टर वो ब्रिज बनाए गए ताकि इसको डेवलपमेंट करके आगे लेके चले दो किलोमीटर है ये ये इसका जो एरिया है वो अट्ठाईस एकड़ है और दो किलोमीटर ये लंबा है और उसके पास and the, the height of the wall varies from 5 to 19 meters depending on the relief yeah. from 5 to 19 5 to 19 is ki meter height hai ya relief karti hai ke baad ja ke niche ke hi upar and the wall is very thick from 3 meters and a half to 6 meters and a half and this the a car can go on top of this wall yeah and this uh, top of the wall was for the defenders of the fortress you know that the tata mongols would come here every 5 10 years you know, they didn't conquer the uh, Russia for the territory. All they wanted was the tribute, tribute, tribute. right? And uh, uh, Russia is uh, because of its climate is um, um, a country of uh, risky agriculture. So there were poor crops sometimes when we couldn't pay to the Tatar Mongols. They would come, they would burn down everything, they would kill all men and slay women and children, and uh, like this during two hundred years. <laughs> दस साल तक जो तारी मंगोल थे क्योंकि यहाँ पर फसल को नहीं थी छोटी सी आती थी फसल अगर उनको नहीं देते थे तो हर पांच दस साल बाद हमला करते थे वो चीजें उठा के ले गए बंदों को मार दिया ऐसे जुल्म जो होता है कबातीन और बच्चों को शरीर बना के ले गए तो इसी तरह काम चलता रहा दीवार बनी थी इसके ऊप so the first Kremlin was built of wood. Then in the 14th century, they built another fortress of white stone. Until now, Moscow is called the white stone city in spite of the fact that the modern Kremlin is made of red brick. And this tradition was so strong that till the beginning of the 20th century, the red brick walls of the Kremlin were whitewashed. They were painted white. So this is that this was the first wood, the Kremlin was made of white bricks. White mark पर white city कहा जाता था इसको मास्को को उसके बाद ये red bricks बनाए और इनको इसलिए बनाए गए कि वो white wash नहीं थे proper हो पाते फिर इनकी कुछ portion ने जो white है ये रख दिए बाकी red bricks कर दिए और इनको visible होने के लिए वो white lining कर दी इसकी this Kremlin, this red brick Kremlin was built at the end of the 15th century by Italian architects why by the Italians where is Italy and where is Russia Firstly, after the Tata Mongol yoke, which lasted so long, when the country was totally devastated, we lost the traditions of such big constructions. The second reason is the following. Uh, Ivan the um, Third uh, married the niece of the last Byzantine emperor, who lived for a long time in Rome. So it was his wife, Sophia, who advised him to commission Italian architects for this project. <laughs> अब वो ये कि ये जब सुबह हुआ जब ये पंद्रहवीं सदी दोबारा बनाया तो अटैलियन आर्किटेक्ट ने बनाया अटैलियन क्यों आए अटैलियन इसलिए कि जब इस शुरू मास्को को इसको रशिया को टोटल डिमोरिश कर दिया टाइटल मंगोल ने तो फिर यहाँ का जो प्रिंस था उसने वहाँ की नीस से शादी की अटैलियन से उसने फिर उनकी हेल्प तो अभी इधर आए सारा कुछ और ये सारा कुछ डेवलप किया बना के दिया उनको as the Kremlin is the nucleus of the city, every century left its traces here. For example, this tower uh, uh, dates back to the 15th century. The highest of the Kremlin, Holy Trinity Tower, 80 meters together with the star. This star is the biggest Kremlin Kremlin Tower here. And it looks like it was looking at it. Now the whole building is also a big building. The star seems little from here, but in fact, the dimension of the star between the points is 3 meters 50 centimeters. It weighs 1 ton and a half.